Hey, buddy. What's up? What? Oh my god. Who is that? I've never seen a more beautiful, incredible, talented looking person in my entire life. Look at their energy. They're so energetically attractive. Don't you think, Woody? I bet they're gonna have a really good 2023, just like us. What is he gonna say? There's a snake in my boot. T. Hello, everyone. It's 2023. This year is our year. It's going to be so magical, so good. And I wanna ask you when I say, this is going to be your year, how does that make you feel? Does it feel like something that resonates with you, that's true, or does it feel like, uh, I don't know? Because I think we really need to pay attention this year to how we feel, and at the start of every sort of new year, I do like to sit down and do a goals video, just because they're so fun for me personally to look back at, but also I think that you know, we can really encourage each other, talk about, you know, things we're looking forward to as if we were just like friends sitting down and having a coffee or something, you know? Also, I feel like I haven't filmed at home in like a super long time and I definitely want to start doing that again more in 2023, like inviting you guys into my place. So I thought that we would start off with some affirmations because this, as you guys know, is the best way to make sure that you're feeling high vibe and I think that this year, one of the things that I really realized is, you know, implementing positive self-talk, hyping yourself up. Don't let those motherfuckers bring you down. Positive self-talk is going to slowly creep its way into your psyche, you know, and it might feel silly at first, um, but it's made such a difference in my life. So yeah, let's start off the video with some affirmations and then we'll get into some goals, etc. So, 2023, I was born to do this, whatever this is for you. Um, sometimes you just do something and you just get this feeling in your heart like, wow, like I was just born to do this and you just know it, you know? And I feel like just continue to say that to you, to yourself because sometimes, yeah, we can feel like imposters or we can feel like, like who am I to do this? But remember, you create your own reality, okay? I was born to do this. <laughs> Okay, I love this next one. People are always wanting to help me on my journey to following my dreams. Um, I really feel like I've always been somebody that is like, I need to do everything myself. Um, whether that is just like every aspect of the creative process. I'm like, I need to have control over everything. And, you know, I sort of grew up feeling like I need to be very independent and make things happen for myself but really sort of changing the narrative around that for myself and reminding myself that people actually do want to help you and support you and care about you and your dreams. Um, it just makes me feel so warm and loved and like I can move through the world freely and be myself, you know? Next, I'm so excited to see all the unexpected ways my dreams are gonna come true. It's not a question of if, ladies it's a question of when and how exciting is it to not know how everything is going to work out for you you don't know what your angels have in store for you all you know is that they love you so much you they chose you you know there's like millions of angels in the sky but they chose you to be their earth person <laughs> because they love you and they want to see you thrive you know I like to think of my angels as like these amazing artists and they're just like up in the sky and they're so funny and they're so cool and they're like our earth bitch Shayna is just going to kill it and we're gonna make sure that everything um, is great for her so yeah I also sometimes write letters to them and I'm like you guys did a really good job today thank you so much <laughs> I don't know anyway okay I'm open to the magic of life I always say this too in my daily affirmations. I'm open to receiving synchronicities. I'm open to receiving fun. The more that we can tap into this feeling of joy and fun, the more we become energetically attractive. And you know, that can take many different forms, whether that is doing your makeup like crazy in the morning, going to freaking decathlon and getting these stupid yellow glasses, you know? 
you are you are responsible for how you feel and making sure that you feel good every day okay next is i walk through the world knowing that all of my dreams are coming true i think this is a very interesting one and this sort of came through during my meditation the other day i was like bitch how would you move through the world if you really believed that your wildest dreams are are coming true like how would you how would you have any interaction how would you you know show up for people you wouldn't have feelings of fear or lack you would show up knowing like i'm good like <laughs> i have everything that i need and i'm secure in that you know those are some of the affirmations that i wanted to start um the video with what you expect to get from life is what you most likely will, we will get because that's the vibration that you're on you know so we really have to work on expecting good things to happen do you know what i mean so yeah now we're gonna get into some of my personal goals for 2023 and at the end of the video i'll share a few prompts with you guys that i think can really help you if you want to maybe journal about something similar before we get into the video i do want to say that this video is sponsored by me being a very boss lady this year i feel like a lot of you guys watching this already own this journal but if you don't i put out a journal this last year which is an affirmation guided journal for creatives like you and my goal with this journal is to help you get more connected to yourself through prompts emotional check-ins and really just letting go of limiting beliefs so that you can go towards like your brightest highest creative self so yeah if you are interested um i'll link that down below i'm so excited that you guys are even starting like small groups and things like that around the journal i really am so proud of it and i think it's such a beautiful journal like even just to have in your home so yeah i will link that down below and let's get back into the video so i sort of separated my goals into career-based goals and lifestyle mental health goals and i want to start with those because i think those are the most like universal and can maybe touch you guys the most so if you get anything from this video i really want you to watch this portion um the first thing that i learned from last year and i really want to take into this next year is taking responsibility for my part in the energy that I bring in any social interaction. Whether that is a date, whether that is a coffee day with a friend, 50% of that interaction is my responsibility. Um, <laughs> so what does that look like? It looks like bringing fun activities. For example, if I'm going on a date with someone, I'm absolutely bringing like paint with me, chess, like I'll bring like a bunch of fun things because if we're hanging out, it's going to be a good time. Like we're going to have fun because I am responsible for 50% of that. So ask yourself, like who is the person that you would like to hang out with and the, ener and the energy that they bring and be that person. You have the opportunity to shift dynamics, you know, and I think a lot of that has to do with just being prepared. Um, so that's one thing that I definitely want to continue doing in 2023 is not just like arriving to a situation and going with whatever energy there is, but instead, like, okay, like I would love to hang out with somebody who would just like at a cafe, like to start like drawing or, ah, okay, my camera just died. So I'm switching to my iPhone really quick. But what I was saying, don't be afraid to interject your own energy into things like every interaction 50 percent is up to you um and i think that a lot of people like i said just go with the flow with whatever anyone else sort of brings to the table and they sort of mirror that but be the person that you would like to hang out with you know what i mean be the person um that is coming up with fun ideas and if the person en face de toi if the person who is sitting across from you is not enjoying that or like your fun energy or if they don't like that then you know kind of automatically that they're not like the person that you want to be hanging out with you know really prioritize your time and be like i want to get the most out of this interaction with you um so yeah that's something that i definitely want to continue to do in 2023 is be i guess the word is more intentional <laughs> that's another thing as well as i think it's great to have um to have a word for the year, um, I had one. I, I wrote it down somewhere. 
I think I wrote like be that bitch or something like that but yeah the next thing sort of around like lifestyle and mental health is instead of focusing on goals and concrete like I want to have this or this in my life focus on every day feeling good that is through your thoughts um, it's so easy to spiral into negative thinking um, but also when it comes to processes you know um, I think that anything that we desire in life we desire because we think that in the receiving of that thing we are going to be happier but what I've learned is like in anything any success in life you feel good for a second but maybe the process was like a whole year to get to that thing so and my processes around my goals, my art, my music, even this YouTube channel, I want to focus on how can I make the process more enjoyable. Um, and for me, for example, for YouTube, that is getting dressed up in a really fun way, um, thinking of like fun things that I want to share with you, making notes, etc. Like what kind of outings can we go on? Um, and things like that and for example with my music it's like not pushing myself to work when I feel like totally exhausted having a routine for example like two hours a day but also like once I'm done with those two hours of producing I don't have to continue if I don't want to you know like how can I make things more fun for myself and I think also prior to prioritizing how we feel around people too in relationships um, this last year in 2023, I think, I mean, sorry, <laughs> this last year in 2022, I did lose a very significant friendship in my life, someone that I thought I was really close to, but honestly, when I look back at it, the entire year, I was always questioning how I felt around this person. I felt this person took a lot of my energy and wasn't a very good friend to me, um, and when it came down to it, I just didn't want to believe that because I really was happy to have a friendship in Paris that was creative that was yeah and um what ends up happening when you don't follow your intuition is you end up having tower moments you end up having it ends up sort of all crumbling because it's not stable in the first place and so I think that we really need to pay attention to how we feel around people. How does this person make me feel? Are they taking my energy? Are they inspiring me? Because at the end of the day, like someone can look good on paper, um, a situation can look good on paper, but the most important thing and how we can align to source energy and manifest in life <laughs> and really just be connected to our higher self is being very connected to how we feel it's like I said everything that we desire in our life we desire because we think we're going to feel better everything we do whether it comes to love career relationships we do because of a, we're chasing a feeling you know so if we can find ways to feel good now we're already being connected to that higher energy that we want so yeah just sort of continuing to implement that Another thing that kind of goes along with this is more pro being more proactive about planning ahead, um, whether that's with traveling, doing outings. One of the things that I've done for a couple years now is in the beginning of the year, I will print out a calendar because I will print out the entire month of January, February, March, April, May, and I will put that on my wall. So in the beginning of the year, I have a total blank uh, slate. And I like to do this because I can see into the future and get excited about things. Um, so when it came to January, I went ahead and I started reserving tickets to the opera, to the theater. Um, it was really cool actually because in Paris, like you would think something like that is expensive, but I got like four tickets to the opera for 30 bucks for everything, which is less expensive than going to the cinema. So I just think being proactive about that as well as you know like traveling I'm traveling to three countries next year I've already booked my tickets and so it's just really nice when you plan ahead things like that because you have something to look forward to something that keeps your energy going and I think a lot of times we don't assert our energy whether that is in social exchanges or even 
towards our future because we want to stay open um, to someone else's energy. For example, if you have a date with somebody, you don't want to, you know, be like, hey, can I draw you? Or like, hey, can I, do you want to play chess? Because you're like, well, maybe I want to go with their energy. And the same with our future. I don't want to fill up my whole calendar because, um, because I want to leave things open for maybe something else will pop up. I do agree that it's good in some respects to stay open to things, but also having said that, I think it's equally as important to take charge and be like, okay, I'm not going to fill up my entire calendar, but I, uh, I do know that I would enjoy these things, so I'm going to go ahead and block off that time. And you're saying that your energy is important when you do that. Like, I know this is what I want to do and I'm taking charge. Do you know what I mean? And don't we love that? <laughs> Like, I always look at myself as if I'm two people. I have my inner child, you know, who came into this world with bright eyes and was so imaginative and free and kind. And over the years, obviously, you go to middle school, people are bitches. And <laughs> just like straight to middle school, people are bitches. But like things happen over your life that can jade you. But my job is to protect that joyful, kind child so that she can thrive and be in her highest form. We really have to protect our dreams. And remember, you are a precious diamond. You were put on earth to change the world and you have a responsibility to yourself to implement routines to make yourself feel good and be the best version of yourself. And I believe in you and love you. And that's what we're gonna do this year. This is what we're all about this year. Be a strong, be the person you're looking for. Be that strong role model, that elegant swan, that roaring lion. I'm doing spoken word, but anyway. And if it seems like I'm very passionate about this, it's because I am. We in life have just been taught to be so small and I'm over it. Anyway, I'm going on a rant. <laughs> Just like a very quickly because I don't want this video to be like hours and hours long but some of the ways that I really make sure that I am in tune to how I feel is doing weekly check-ins so every Sunday I will sit down with myself and I'll do prompts and be like so what brought you the most joy this week what drained you what are you excited about who did you hang out with this week how did they make you feel how did the how was that dynamic um, what do you want to change for next week this is a very great thing to do and another is I will meditate and the thing that's good about meditation is you're focused you're forced to be silent with yourself and feel where your vibration is in that moment when you are silent with yourself and um just being alone with your thoughts you will see where you're at um and then after you can have breakthroughs i always ask for little synchronicities etc so i think that's pretty much all i have around mental health obviously we all know the drill you know keep up exercise routines eat healthy when you can the last sort of portion that i want to talk about is around career just because I really, I mean, obviously I don't need to do this, I know, but I really love looking back and seeing like what I was able to achieve and um, what came true and what didn't. And I was looking back at my video from 2022 and I said that I wanted to do an art residency and maybe start doing more music and stuff. And I did an art residency in Iceland and I totally changed my life and I started playing the electric guitar and it's just, yeah, anyway, I think that being specific can be very powerful. But having said that, I think that this year I'm, I'm making more process-based goals instead of final result goals because a lot of times, you know, some things are out of your control. However, um, being consistent and showing up daily is the most important thing for me. For example, one of my goals for next year is to do music two hours a day. Um, I want to become a really great music producer and the only way that I can really learn is to practice. I'm a very hands-on learner. So yeah, I'm just playing music every day, my guitar, my synth. Um, my EP will be coming out in a few months. It was going to come out at the end of 2023, but I kept adding on to it, um, adding more songs and also um, just doing music videos and a lot of fun things. And I was really enjoying that process. So it'll probably, the final um, EP will probably come out in April because I have another single coming out before then. And it's been really fun to see my evolution with music because I've really started to learn how to produce myself and um, 
collaborate with people and it's just been so cool to really enjoy that part of it and not just like oh I can't wait to put it out you know um so that's definitely one of my goals for next year is to become a really amazing producer and also to um, just be very consistent around practicing, you know. Next is I have a very, very exciting project that I'm going to announce next week. Um, <laughs> and it's around my art and books and things like that. I don't want to go too specific because I want it to be a surprise for next week. Um, but I basically have a series of something coming out that I'm so excited about. I've been working so hard on it. And I'm really trying this year to... You know, I started doing this last year of like diversifying and for my art sort of to become like the main thing and YouTube to just be, you know, a part of that but not, I, I want YouTube to work for me and not me working for YouTube. So really this year one of my goals was to create very solid projects that would put my art and um, my design skills and everything like that at the forefront. So I'm super excited to create um, a project that I will be announcing next week. Um, that I think could be really useful to you guys as well. The next around career is to paint more. I realized that I was having so much fun just like putting on music and painting and having these sort of fun days once a week of experimentation. I think that the way that we can really have more imaginative ideas and push the envelope is by having creating space just for play and so having that one day a week where I'm maybe trying out makeup looks or you know getting my microphone out and doing some spoken word or and filming myself doing these things it really breeds a lot of ideas and so I want to create time in my calendar just for play next year the next one around career personally is to do start doing live performances. I have had a few opportunities to perform live, but I also want to put out my first works, like complete my EP before I start performing live because I really want, you guys know me, I'm like a crazy bitch and I want to have like crazy sets and projectors and have people on stage with me who are like making it a real experience and I want to start doing that probably the end of like 2023. So that's a really big goal for me to perform live and the next is to reach out instead of silently watching people who I admire there's so many people like for example on Instagram who I think are cool and doing cool things I love their work and I'm sure that they would like to connect with me as well but I think we have this part of us that's like well why would we reach out um, even yourself like think of how many people you follow that you would maybe like to collaborate with or even just get a coffee and you know but we just for some reason we stop ourselves so I want to network more with people who I want to create with or who I think are doing interesting things because life is so short and you know teamwork makes the dream work when we're working together and you know I've actually really pushed myself to do that at the end of last year whether that is around you know painters or people who do music videos I just really want like it's mutually beneficial when you know people who are creative work together because you're both joining your world and you can't do everything yourself you know so that's really the last one that i have a really big one around um my career and creativity um obviously i want to continue doing youtube as long as you guys are interested and i'm able to bring something um of value to your life i really feel like this last year i realized how much just like you know positivity following your dreams and everything like that like my mindsets and routines um connects me with others because i think we're all here because we have a common goal and that is to just be our fullest most authentic beautiful self and i think that um that yeah like being an artist that has moved to paris i've been here for almost nine years and i'm gonna get my nationality soon has taught me a lot of things and i just want to be a resource for you guys as well so just a little update on that as well i will be finding out in like a month or so about my nationality so i'm very excited i'm pretty sure i got it <laughs> otherwise i would have heard from them um and yeah i just wanted to share some of those goals obviously there's a few that are more personal that i'm keeping to myself um i think that it's good to have a balance of sharing but also keeping things personal but i really hope i really hope that um those could have been inspiring to you guys especially the ones around like mental health and you know just like saying very positive and in a high vibe state because i think that's really when we can see things happening in our life I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you being here after all these years, being a part of my journey and no matter what form that takes and I really value you and you're so welcome here to spend time and um, if you made it to the end, leave me a comment that says one of your goals for 2023, I'd love to hear from you. And yes, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. 
Um, so here are the two prompts that I want to share. I do go more in depth around like prompts and things like that on my podcast. Um, but I'm just going to share two today that I think are very powerful. And the first one is, in what situation in 2022 forced me to grow the most? The next one is, what is an obstacle that I overcame last year? How did I react in that situation and how did that transform my life? The next one is, what am I most excited about in the future? What is bringing me the most joy? And to kind of piggyback on that, how can I make my day-to-day tasks more fun? The more you can do little things to make things more fun, whether that's wearing dolphin earrings or you know, putting on a song you like, the more that you can interject fun into your life, the more you're in that playful energy. And I think that it can really just like make you very energetically attractive. And we think that a lot of life is just about working hard, but it's also about like other people and how we are inviting them into our life. When you're walking down the street and you see someone and you're in a bad mood, you're not inviting them to smile back at you. But if you smile and you're in a good mood, you're just attracting that same energy. So yeah, I just wanted to share those three prompts very quickly with you. They're pretty basic, but also efficace, as we say in French. So yeah, I love you guys. If you enjoy what I'm doing, I have, like I said, my book out, which you can get down below. I have prints as well as you can stream my songs and listen to my first works that I've done that I actually started last year. Anyway, I love you. I'm going to have lunch and I would love to hear from you as well what you'd like to see from me as far as content goes in 2023. I believe in you so much and I love you and have a beautiful, beautiful week. Bye. Gonna crack a rib when I get home. I'm gonna bury you in my favorite home.